you know, it's just Groundhog Day. I would say the same thing. I've always said, uh, appreciate the guys. I love the guys. They care. Uh, we were under under man uh, without our keys. Obviously, they had some people out also, but um, you know, they came and played against one of the top teams in the country in a place that they haven't won or no one's beat them here. And uh, you know, we we played them till the end, like we've done all year. Uh, I thought we we you know with the one day prep, I didn't know how they would do, but. You know, we just kept showing them what we did the first time. And, and we just said, we just got to repeat that. It wouldn't be as easy here. Um, you know, they, they got too many baskets at the, or too many points in the paint. Got us on that little bit of secondary break where they just beat us in, um, a few times. But, you know, the overall, just a, uh, a great effort. Uh, obviously, some calls down the stretch. I, I, I just watched them. Um, uh, you guys, I hope you watch them and I hope you say something because I can't, um, but it's it's disappointing. Uh, you know, I feel for the guys. I, Mike McGurl was, uh, you know, stepped up as a, you know, played all 40 minutes, made big shots. I, I thought he was really good on defense and had a great steal at the end. Um, you know, Selton has struggled uh, without Marquise. So, he, you know, he, he got his chance and he took advantage of it, uh, made some big plays and gave us a chance. I thought Ish battled. Um, Mark Smith didn't have quite the numbers he's had, but um, he helped us with that run to start the second half to give us a chance. And then, uh, you know, Nigel, you know, without Marquise, he's got to handle a lot. Uh, they could they could double him. They doubled him at times. Uh, we found him a few times. Mike Mike and uh, Selvin found him a couple of times. We got that little run and got the, got the lead back. And then even Davion and Luke played their butts off. Uh, and, uh, you know, we just probably the only stretch, the crowd's unbelievable here. Um, you know, very, very, I, it might be better than Kansas, to be honest, the, the noise, the music, the, uh, the energy. And our guys fought through that and had great poise and uh, gave themselves a chance to win. You just, you just hope something will good there would go our way. But, um, you know, they made, they made good plays. Uh, Walker or Warren was really good. Obviously, probably a special, special night for him. Uh, and then Williams has been consistent and good all year. So uh, just, I don't know what to say other than that. Coach, uh, first question to Michael. Yeah, Coach, you kind of stole my thunder there. I was just going to say Williams and Warren, I think, scored 18 of the last 20 points. Anything you can do to, to counteract what they do? I thought we double team Williams, some good ones uh, down the stretch. Uh, Warren just kind of bodied us and got into us and jumped over us. Uh, had pretty good size. He he was very, very efficient and 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 made some big shots for them. Um, and then, you know, the arms is, you know, six assists to that, you know, that's huge for them to Last time we turned them over 18 times. This time it was only 12. We had some down the stretch that gave us a chance, uh, you know. But uh, they're good. I mean, you know, even without McCullough, they're still they're still a really good team. There's no doubt. Uh, but I think our you know our coaches do a good job of scouting. I think the guys, just like I said in a one day prep, understood um, you know how we could score against them and how we needed to defend them. I just kept telling them stay in front. We needed to protect the paint. Uh, you know, obviously they they got there more than than they should have, and that's probably the difference in the game. And can you just comment on your guys' resolve being down eight at the half and making the push several times? Yeah, you know, it's just uh, again, it, it's it's what they've done all year. Um, you know, in this environment to come back, that was it was Mark's kind of four minutes of uh, special basketball. He hit the three, got. Got a steal. I got got layups, um, and uh, you know it's a, it it was a, you know they've they've shown resolve, resilience, all the words you can you can find in that dictionary. Uh, it's it you you can describe our team. So um, I just wish for their sake they'd get rewarded somehow, and um, you know hopefully we can start Saturday and have a, a special week next week. And I don't want to get you in trouble, but tee it up for you for uh, Mike McGurl, Falcon on arms and the. I think you can say you watched it. If, if you guys got, I I watched it and I and I I don't understand it. I watched it in the game. 
I didn't understand it. I watched it on the video. I don't understand it. So, uh, and if you really study and, and look at the slow motion of Nigel's shot, I think you'll see something too. So, but it's, uh, it didn't go our way. And, uh, you know, uh, I just, it's just, uh, it's disappointing to be honest, but again, we can't, can't change it. Uh, that's no good. You got to get ready to play on Saturday. And I, I hope, I hope for their sake, they come and play at a, at a high level and, and we're, we're ready to play against Oklahoma. I appreciate it, Bruce. Yeah. Uh, next question to Grant. Hey, Coach. Um, wh what did you miss today without Marquise Noel? Well, if you look at the last game, and I told the guys, uh, you know, he had nine nine assists and he had five steals. And, it, you know, it, he didn't have much scoring, but, and you know, that was a, you know, that I said, who's going to make that up? And, uh, you know, we probably didn't have anyone make up the, the assists. We definitely did a great job on, on steals. We had eight, uh, probably needed some more, maybe had one more at the end, would have made a big difference. Um, you know, I, I, and then Mar Marquise can create and ease the pressure on Nigel some, but our other guys really stepped up. Mike, Mike was, you know, maybe as good a game for him in his career. I know it's a season high, um, you know, Selton, you know, once in a while he over dribbles, but, you know, pretty efficient tonight and, and did, you know, I was happy he finally made a three. It's been a long time for him. Maybe that would give him a little confidence down the stretch. Um, you talked about the crowd a little bit. Do you think it almost uh, energized your team a little bit as well? I, I think so. The only I said before, I, I, the only part was the end of the half and we got a little antsy. It, it made us go quick. That's what crowds do. And they, they make you get you out of your rhythm. I thought our pace, the whole, every time out, I said, great energy on defense, help do all you can and great pace on offense. And uh, we only have one charge again. And, uh, it, you know, which is against them. That's uh, here. I don't know what they average, like four or five taking charges. Um, so that pace was important. I just thought that one, uh, you know, that, like I said, that one stretch right before half where we got a little antsy, shot some quick threes. Boom, 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 and that was when they got they got that that built that big lead, their biggest lead of the game. And then um, Ish got the start. What did you think of his play specifically on the defensive end? I thought he battled and and he did a nice job. And that's not been his strength all year, um, you know. And and you know we 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 felt we had better matchups. Uh, we could switch things uh, for the most part. You know, we did a pretty good job. I know they scored seventy three and shoot forty nine percent, but uh, I thought we held our own. I, I thought the, you know, just staying in front of them a few more times maybe made a difference. I guess there's a, I didn't understand. I'm not going to say anything, but okay. Thank you, coach. Yeah. Uh, next question to Kellis. You expect Marquise back on Saturday? You know, I hope and pray. Um, you know, he he gave it a little shot today and, and shoot around. It just he, he's he's had issues with his hamstring, not this year, but in the past. I think he was a little gun shy. Um, the next two days are going to be really important that he can get get moving, get back in the pool at home, get maybe running in the pool to get a little confidence, um, and then you know get running a little bit on on uh, Wednesday on the court, and then see if he can get involved in a little bit of action. Uh, like I said, I just hope and pray he's there. If not, we just got to make do um, with what we got and make the best of it. Uh, it seems like there's a theme in these last couple of games when you get the ball to Nigel late. The other team realizes the refs aren't going to call fouls. They put a lot of defensive oh, pressure really? on them. Do you? Oh, do you, Is there <laughs> – sorry to bring it up. Is there – I mean, knowing that that's the situation, is there anything you can do differently there? I, I don't know. You know, Mike had a couple looks down the stretch. Um, you know, it just, uh, you know, I, I, we, we want a guy that's, you know, he's made, can make shots and make plays. And, um, you know, we talk, we've, uh, you, you bring it up, go ask the staff because we put it late. We argued last night for about an hour from midnight to 1 a.m. Not argued, discussed it. You know, what can we do? Because we've been there so many times. Uh, we were there again tonight. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, uh, you know, it, it, and I said to Wyatt and those guys, and 
on pregame is, you know, we were two and eight with Dean and, and Barry and those guys in the close games. Now we're three and eight with this group. And again, it's uh, sometimes you got to learn how to play. Hopefully we can, we've been through a lot of them. I didn't think we were unpoised or, you know, just got to find a way to get a, a bucket when it counts or get to the free throw line. All right. Thanks, Bruce. Yep. Uh, go to Arnie. Yeah, Bruce, I think there was a stretch there where you uh, you made that run. You were five or six from three, but only two of eight from uh, from two. It seemed like you guys really had a hard time finishing at the rim. Well, their length and athleticism, the way they switch, uh, you know, they uh, they do a good job of, and they come. They That's their whole thing. That's their defense, and that's what I was – trying to explain to our guys and I think they 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 were able to in one day prep to come back and we just we just talked about keep moving the ball then attack and then you got to make the right play from there um you know it, it uh you know that it's just it's what they do they protect the paint and they score in the paint if you look at the stats from the first game uh you know we we did a great job no second chance points we did a great job of you know for the most part protecting the paint and uh, you know, but they they play so well at home. Obviously, I think this was their closest game though, in the, in the eighteen and oh that they were. So I guess consolation prize. I guess we get something. Anything else for coach before I bring Mike on? Okay, thank you, coach.